was my answer last week. This went up in the club. This went up in the club. This went up in the club, dude. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Bro, what? Let's go. We good. What's the topic? Okay, stop. Wait, hold on. I gotta yeah. come down for a second, dude. Yo, welcome to Beers and Bars. Your place for rapid fire hip hop discussion. I am Kamal Kiddo. OT the Golden Child back with another episode. I'm excited right now because, you know, we got a new beer this week. Yeah. Um, this is it for me. This is my favorite. Shout out to my homie Brian. You know what I'm saying? He put me on about two, about four or five years ago. Whether I'm watching my bears, my bulls, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the case may be. Uh, Lagunitas, little something, something. This is it for me, man. I, I love it. Yeah. This it is your first like, time, right? Yes. And it tastes like uh, Barry Weiss to me. It, it does? It tastes like... Uh, What's it? Line and Kugel? How do you say it? Line and Kugel, um, yeah. the summer shandy joint? Yeah, but the Berry Weiss one. The Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It tastes like that to me. This to me, this is my favorite, man. I just love the, it, it has a, a, a kick afterwards. It has like a mm-hmm. little aftertaste, but it's not super bitter. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? 7.5% alcohol volume. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? Lagunitas, a little something, something. Topics, yeah. please. Yo, one. Um, of the 2000s, mm-hmm. who was the best producer? Kanye, Just Blaze, Timbaland, or the Neptune? Woo! Topic two. What was the greatest era in hip-hop? Mm. Is it now? Is it then? Is it before our time? My dad was a glass with the ball. <laughs> see that mumble rap stuff, see? Uh, <laughs> topic two. Uh, album review, Tribe Called Quest. Um, can I kick it? Yes, I can. Trav Call Quest, we got it from here. Thank you for we your service. We got it from here. Yeah. Thank you for your service. You're right. Mm-hmm. We got it from here. Thank you for your service. Okay. Yep. Topic one. Rough. Yeah. Of the 2000s, who was the best producer? Kanye, Just Blaze, Timbaland, the Neptune. 2000s. Who ran the 2000s? Um, Look, man. I'm going to tell you, dude. I'm going to just say it like this, man. All mm-hmm. right? My feeling is, you know, Just Blaze does his song on his joints. Yeah. Kanye is good. You know what I'm saying? Uh, of course. Of course. Kanye is Kanye. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Gee, as far as, uh, look, man, Timbaland, overall, I think Timbaland got it. Gee. Yeah, overall. Overall, Timbaland, to me, was one of the most progressive producers, like, when I compare my beats mm-hmm. to a producer, I would want it to be Timbaland because yeah. his beats changed throughout the whole oh, song. Oh, yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, the latter part of the 90s, mm-hmm. he got it. Yeah. For the 2000s, Neptune's got it on lock, G. They got hits, G. They do. They got hits in the they 2000s, do. G. They do. I should have Ed play some songs right now. I know, you right? know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. But straight up, I think Neptune's got it, G. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go yay. Are you really going to do that? I'm going to go yay. Yes, I am. You're playing yourself. Uh, right? I, I don't, that's fine with me. Um, really, G? I am for the 2000s. You're um, playing yourself right now, And the right problem, now, the problem and the reason why I probably might be playing myself is because he was an artist and as an artist, he was so influential in the 2000s. But when His Kanye- songs other people, G? When Kanye came out and when he started, when he produced on the blueprint. Okay. His song not he on the ch- blueprint, not even, bro. Other producers got better songs than Ye on the blueprint, G. When other Kanye, producers. The whole when Kanye came with the soul style in the two thousands, the whole landscape changed for two years. Everybody wanted soul music. Everybody and they were copying him at the same time. That's true. Everybody now was trying to be a soul producer. Who Kanye did that? He did do that, but you know what? And he did have that this in the 2000s that, as well. He did. I'm not saying he didn't. That's not, that's not to say that he didn't have his. He did. Yeah. However, the Neptunes. They had, had a lot of the singles. The biggest they did. hits, G. Grinded. Uh, what's that song that they just, or that Ed just played with? Uh, Justin Timberlake. The, dun, 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 dun. Justin it was a Timberlake, hit. Yeah. G. Zagazza. Uh, yeah. Zagazza. True. The Bitty Bad Joint. Look. Neptune's got it, G. Mm-hmm. G. The song they did with Jay-Z, G. Neptune's got it, G. I just remember a three, four-year period 
where everybody wanted soul. Now everybody want to run, run at me for their single. That was yay. Everybody, he might not have singles, but everybody for a long period of time had to have gay production. And if they didn't get gay production, they made sure they got something that sounded like gay. Soul samples. He did that. He did do that. You got a good argument. Oh, yes, I do. How, <laughs> you do. However, Neptune still ran it. I hear you, but I'm going yay for the 2000s, man. We don't even need to keep two minutes. What's the next topic? Yeah, G, two minutes. All right, um, the greatest era uh -huh. in hip hop. Yeah, what was the greatest era in hip hop? <sighs> now you about to sound like a real old dude right now. No, I'm not. <laughs> um, the greatest era in hip hop is definitely it's the '90s, man. I was gonna try to make a case for the 2000s, but you can't. You can. Yeah. You, you can, can try. You can try. But you're gonna look stupid. Yeah, you know because of how much came out of the 90s that was, inf you know, how much in the 2000s was influenced yeah. by the 90s. Illmatic dropped in the 90s. Yeah. Um, everything that Big and Pac did dropped in the 90s. That's true. No Limit was in the 90s. That's true. Bad, I mean, I boy, stop bad Boy was running stuff in, in the, the 90s. 90s. You just have to, you know, anybody yeah. who wants to make a case for 2000s, comment on YouTube so we can kill you because you're lying yeah. to yourself. I mean, the basically. thing is that the 2000s is mostly club music. It was. For the most part. You know what I'm That's saying? That's when singles took off. Yeah, like, you singles have, if you really had a hot single, took off. It was yeah. like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. To me, man, like, after, like, 90, 98 is a cutoff to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like a lot of, don't get me wrong, I like rap. Yeah. So I like stuff after 98. Yeah. But 98 is like the cap as far as everything is pretty much good yeah you know what i'm saying and you got people that's like competing and like the energy is just yeah. different you know what i'm saying it like was different 2000s made way for the rappers of today it did to kind of you know what i'm saying it's about vibes yeah you know what i'm saying they can put out whatever you know what I'm saying? it was so much in the night like but 98 man is the cutoff cut off for you? Yeah, for me, G. That's what I've seen. You know it, what I'm saying? It was some good. Not music even 99, G. Not even 99. 98. G. <laughs> it, it was. <laughs> it's similar. That's our time, man. ADP. But yeah, it's it's some. Damn, that's time. Oh, time. God damn it! All right. Oh word. All right. Well, what's the last uh, topic, man? The last topic. Um. Oh, album review. Tribe Called Quest. Mm. Um. We got it from here. Thank you for your service. Yes. I'm gonna let you go first because you were super excited about this. I'm very excited about this joint. Uh -huh. um, a couple of things I want to say about this joint. Yeah. Uh, first of all, it's Tribe's first album in a long time. It is. In a very long time, like 20 years. Is Tribe a top five group of all time? <sighs> Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And this and this album would should solidify that because now I'm a diehard number one group of all time is Wu Tang. Yeah. Number one. Period. Yeah. You can't t talk to me about no other group. Yeah, I feel However, that. Tribe is up there for me, G. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they came with an ill album, yeah. even as older guys, G. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Daylight didn't do, didn't do themselves justice like Tribe did, G. Yeah. They came with the jazz, boom, bap, that old, they like, they, first of all, Tribe never dropped no whack album. True. They never dropped a whack album, G. Yeah. I'm not that big a fan of their first album. Yeah. But everything after that, G, yeah, is pretty much they got it. Second and third album, I don't know which one. It was um, the Midnight Marauders joint, and then th the Lower End Theory, right? Low End Theory Those and the Midnight and Marauders are uh, dope, killers. Rid G. Ridiculous albums, killers. I uh, and I love Movement, but I'm gonna give it a nine though. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna give go it a nine, G. Space Program, uh, Solid Wall of Sound, um, mm, mm -hmm. Kids with Andre, mm. Melatonin. I mean. This album has a bunch of stuff on it that is like super good and it's so Consequences on it, G. That's one of the fa my favorite songs on, on the album. Buster came through, G. They got they old yeah. that old feeling, Bust G. Buster came through like And they bust. not like slouches on it. They're nah. like rapping, G. I was telling you earlier, Q-Tip, if he had have had more albums, to me could have been one of those dudes that's like in the conversation for because his flow and delivery yeah. is still unmatched. Yeah, you know it, what is, I'm it is. It's still it's unmatched. Own, G. It's unique in that way. I'm gonna go eight though. I think it's a very I think it's a good project. I'm, I'm gonna go eight though. Yeah. Eight? That's where I'm at. Yeah. True. True. Beers and bars. That's it, man. baby. We out of here. Beers Peace. And bars.